Scotland and a day of contrast. In fact, yet again, um, we're only three days into the month of November. We've broken a record. The warmest day in Estelle Muir um, here with 16.4 Celsius. But sandwiched either side, well, here we had fog and temperatures struggled to climb above double figures. Further south, a bit more of a breeze, a bit more cloud around and some outbreaks of rain. And that rain will continue to spread its way steadily north through the night tonight. So we're not too concerned with too much in the way of fog. There'll be some hill fog, particularly across the peaks and Pennines. There'll be some outbreaks of rain pushing into Scotland. Ahead of that, maybe some stubborn fog here and temperatures down into single figures. But by contrast, into the southeast, we will see some showers around, some of them quite sharp, with some thunder mixed in there as well. And so it really is going to be a messy start to the morning across England and Wales. A lot of cloud, there'll be some hill fog, and there will be some showers, and some of them quite heavy, making for a lot of surface water and spray on the roads. We'll see that rain pushing into southern Scotland, so a different story for Estelle Muir tomorrow. That will eventually chase any early morning fog away as well. The reason being the breeze will pick up with the rain and the showers rain will start to move across Scotland into the afternoon. We could see a little bit of brightness developing, but it really is a day of everything for tomorrow. There'll be some brightness, there'll be cloud, there'll be showers, it'll be breezy, and it will also be mild as well, 10 to 15 degrees the overall high. As we move out of Wednesday, things will really start to change, and it's all down to the position of the jet stream. It starts to centre itself right across the UK, this ribbon of fast-moving winds high up in the atmosphere, and it's responsible for driving in frontal systems across from the Atlantic. So the first significant front will arrive during Thursday. That's going to bring some wet weather as it continues to move from west to east. It'll also bring an increasing strong southwesterly wind as well. Staying mild because the winds come from a southwesterly direction, 12 to 16 degrees the high. That clears away, but it's only going to be replaced by another low, hot on its heels. This time the ice of our squeezing together. Gales are likely on exposed coasts in the north and the potential for perhaps some very heavy rain. So for the rest of the week, then there'll be some rain at times. It will turn increasingly windy, but do bear in mind, hopefully it's a mild source. So temperatures will stay quite promising.